Content Director at IPPC, and today we'll be talking to Chris Bernard at Google about what he'll be discussing at the upcoming call center week. I'm Chris Bernard. I work at Google. I am in charge of our call ad product, which helps um, connect individuals to advertisers through mobile search and uh, through the use of their phone. So I've been at Google 11 years, um, and in my 11 years I've done very various different things, mainly on the product and business side of things. So I'll, um, I'll help uh, commercialize a product, help build a product, um, help do new things for advertisers, and at the same time help our sales teams to make sure that they're talking about the right things with their customers. Um, I've done stints, uh, my current stint is uh, driving a product we call Call Ads. Prior to that I did three years with our social products. Um, prior to that I did um, two years with all of our search products and all the formats that you see in search, um, desktop and mobile. And then beyond that, I did um, local and mobile and, and some very other um, interesting experiments in television and print and digital and other things like that. Cool. So call ads, um, when you do a search on your mobile device and you search for something, um, you, you get some ads on the top, you get some organic on the, top, on the bottom. And what we do is if an advertiser decides that they want to buy call ads, there's a little button uh, on the right-hand side that says call, or the, hot, the headline of the ad turns into a, an actionable call button. And um, when a user clicks that, we pull, up, uh, we pull up the phone dialer, and we make a call to the phone number of, of the advertiser's choice. That'll send it to the call center, and then the call center does you know, either you, um, you know, most likely, most of the time you want a sales call out of it, um, and, and we're driving that traffic to them. And as an advertiser, you pay only for the call. Right, so you don't have to pay any time that it shows up. So anytime somebody's doing a search on your brand name or something a little bit more generic, you're going to get um, you need the ability to have people directly call you, and then you can convert them into customers directly over the phone. Right, so if you see here, you see how the phone number is the headline, and then there's a call button. Yes. So there's two flavors of that. One where the call button shows up in the regular ad, and then another where. Um, where the headline is normal, where I can send traffic to my mobile website as well as make a phone call. And so if I call this here, I'm not going to call it because I'll charge them. Right. Um, but if I call this, then my phone picks up, my dialer comes up, it confirms that I want to make a phone call, and then it directs me right to the advertiser's call center. Um, and then they're going to route that traffic through the call center depending upon what I'm trying to do here. Uh, a lot of times people use different phone numbers for different actions. So if it's a brand ad, then I want to send some, but sometimes, and it depends on the customer, but sometimes that's more of a service call, whereas sometimes it's more of a sales call because they're in consideration to buy that product. Challenge, there's not a ton of challenges, right? If you have a call center, you run a call center, and you have people that want to make, you know, make sales on this on that side, right? You have salespeople on the other line, and that's your goal. Then there's really no additional challenges there outside of volume, right? So, and, and that's that's you know, um, not that difficult to overcome. The benefits here, and and I'm comparing benefits um, on somebody clicking on an ad and going to a website, a mobile website, versus a call. So if I go to a mobile website, I'm going to see a large form there that I'm going to need to fill out. That's going to be like, you know, what's your household income, where do you live, right, all this kind of stuff so that you can figure out if they're, you qualify for insurance and then you're going to get a quote. Um, and that, that's sort of a long path to purchase. Whereas a call, if I make a call, I'm doing all that over the phone. And what an advertiser would typically see is um, higher conversion rates because you have people talking to people and you're you're you know you're selling them and you're able to to sort of you know do a better job versus just a static web page, and then you're seeing order out uh, order values higher. So if if you know not in an insurance product, but let's say telecom, if I was telecom, I would see higher order values because I'm able to upsell on the phone, whereas upsell on a on a small screen is not as easy to do. So you're getting more customers and you're getting higher values out of it. So it's interesting, like everybody asks me, like, well, nobody makes phone calls anymore, nobody makes phone calls anymore, but that's, it, it's not true. We see a ton of phone calls going on, we actually project it to grow, um, to double, uh, to about 86 billion coming from search in a year. Um, 86 billion or million? Yeah, no billion. Wow. Um, and that's, um, that's projected to be from three years from now, so we see about 43 billion now. Um, so people do make a lot of phone calls, and, and it's not just because there's a lot of smartphones out there, it's actually because the, 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 the smartphone experience where you actually have a search and then you have the ability to make a phone call, when you pull those things together into one action, it makes it easier for the user to take action on, and it makes it, you know, you're growing that exponentially. Um, so it's more of a resurgence. 
users will do it in uh, a few different scenarios. One is depending upon the, the type of product they're looking to buy. If you're looking to buy insurance or you're looking to buy telecom, it's sort of a little confusing on the web and you're gonna, you know, you're preferring to make a phone call out of that. Um, it also depends upon sort of the context or where you are. So if I'm out um, walking my dog or you know just out and I need to buy something or need to do something and, and it's a little difficult to do over my device, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do make a phone call so people do that. And then the other thing is that people generally like to talk to people. Um, generally, you know, some, some people don't, some people do, but generally people like to talk to people and so that conversation allows for a very good experience for the user um, and it's very helpful to the advertiser. We preach a lot that, you know, people need to go mobile, advertisers need to go mobile, the, the entire world is going mobile, we see a ton of search traffic mobile. What do you mobile. mean by that? Like switching, having a whole new strategy for it or escalating no. your current? Well, there's a couple ways to think about it. Um, we see a ton of search traffic shifting to mobile, away from desktop. Right? And that's you know, not mind-blowing as the stat goes, but more people are using their devices. But when you're using your device to make searches, it's very, very important to make that experience seamless to the user. Okay, so if I do a search and I click on an ad or I click on an organic result and I end up on a desktop web page, I'm not going to have the right experience as an individual for there because the screen is going to be, you know, the text is going to be very small. I'm not going to find it very good to take action. So a mobile website is very, very helpful in that way. Um, and and the barriers the barriers there are that it, it's it's really about time and design and trying to prioritize mobile for over all the, all the other things that you need to do as a business. Um, but an easy an easy way to go mobile is to allow for calls, right? And that's you know that's mainly why I'm you know what I'm talking about here. But it's it's very important to have your entire experience in a mobile friendly manner, um, whether it be an app or a mobile website, probably both. Right? And there's a lot of different priorities that are going on there um, for, for, a, for a business to make sure that they're doing the right things and to prioritize properly and get it through there. Um, those are the challenges, right? But you have to make sure that you're, you have to make sure you're thinking in the mind of the customer because that's what they want to do and that's what they want to consume and that's their preferred way um, at this point in time to interact with your brand. It's time, it's prioritization, it's actually like doing the work. And I don't think anybody, I don't think there's anybody that will be in the room that can disagree with me that the world is going mobile and mobile is important, right? You can't, you can't disagree with that fact. Um, prioritization and making sure that you're doing the, make, you know, making the right experience for the customer takes some time, right? You have to put some development work into that. You have to make sure that you're thinking about the customer. You have to make sure that you're, you're looking at the end goal and, and building the products that make the most sense for them. Um, that takes time, and I think that's the biggest shortcoming. Um, you can't just, you also just can't go out and just throw an app out in the world, right? You can't just throw an app out on the, on the store and then be done. Right? That's not it. You, know, you have to make sure that that app works properly. You have to make sure that it works integrated with, with mobile be, or web. Because apps are, apps are very interesting too, because people think that you know, going mobile is just an app, but it's not the case. Um, most of the time, people install an app and then they, they only do it once, right? And so, if you're looking for customers, they're not gonna have your app. So you have to make sure you have a good mobile experience that either gets them through to the mobile web page, gets them through to the phone, or gets them to install your app because you're buying products. So you have to think about that entire customer journey. Can you give me an example of a company that achieved that from the ground up, or maybe some that went from mobile to directing their customers to an app that was successful in your mind? Or maybe how do you? The, I mean, the app thing is difficult because you 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 know we we focus a lot on um, getting them as a customer, and then af after you get them as a customer, that's sort of a second second factor um, mm -hmm. down the road. Um, people that are people that do a good job are. Um, I don't know if I can actually like actually say advertisers, but there's a few telecom advertisers that do a very good job where they're, they, they've done a very good job directing people to a mobile experience. And, and in some cases, that mobile experience is a mobile web page that, that captures a very basic piece of information, but then allows for them to either continue the operation afterwards on a different device, um, you know, purchase, like if you're buying, you know, you're buying internet for your home or you're buying TV and internet, right? You're going to go through and you're going to give some information. You're going to figure out what you want. Um, making sure that making sure that that is a seamless experience. Um, what I mean by that is, 
If it's confusing and I can't do it right now on my device, save that for later. Let me do that on a desktop if I want to or a different device later. Saving that piece of information and allowing me to email it to myself to look at it later. Um, giving me an out where I can click a phone number and say, hey, I'm confused, let me talk to a service person or let me talk to a salesperson to help me through this. This is where I was. Um, and we're not there yet in terms of passing information to the agent on the other side, but that is a, a very interesting place um, for innovation where if I am on my device and I'm lost because I don't know if I want 75 megabits or 35 megabits as a consumer um, for my internet, and I'm gonna hit the, hit the sort of bailout button and then I'm gonna make a phone call, the agent on the other side has no idea what I just did. And so I, now I need to explain myself. Um, but passing that through to the agent would be a very interesting thing for the customer and allows that journey to be very seamless. You have to experiment because every customer is going to be different, every business is going to be different, and so you have to experiment with those paths. If you have a path that works great on your desktop site, start there. You know, start there, make it into a mobile-friendly path, use that path to get them through, and see how that works. And and do a couple optimizations, do a couple um, iterations of that to try to make it better, and measure everything. Measure everything. Like you have to make sure that you're measuring it, otherwise you have no idea what's going on. Absolutely. And and. You know, particularly for this for this group here, always make sure that there's a, a phone number there for people to call if they get lost, because they will take that. Let's continue down measurement a little bit more. Yeah, definitely. So wow. measurement is very very important. Um, you know, we focus we focus a lot here on the the most efficient path for your advertising dollars, right? Because we you know we work on our ads product, right? Um, and we want to make sure that you're spending your money properly to get the customers that you want. Um, on, on mobile and on web, we can do that various different ways. You can track a whole ton of different things. Um, and it's important to make sure that you're doing that through the entire path to see what's going on here. Um, because if you're sending customers to a bad path, you're not going to get anything. Um, for calls, particularly, there's there's a lot of interesting data that we can that we can work together to get on. Um, so if I'm running a call center, I know what's going on in the call center. I know how many calls are coming in. I know how many are closing. I know how much value that there is to that. Um, and we, as a business on Google side, know um, where those ads are coming from, how I'm serving those ads, what keywords people are searching on, how often they're clicked on versus not clicked on. And together, we can take those two pieces of information and merge them together to give you a very good piece, uh, a very good path, a very good attribution model to understand which terms are going to drive the best value for you as a business. If you want to turn your call center into a profit center, um, then you can do that by passing, you know, we can pass information back and forth. You can you can advertise on the on the products that are or the keywords that are making the most sense for you and drive the best value for the business to to really make the most efficient um, decisions in advertising. In my time at Google, I've worked on a lot of different uh, a lot of different products, and and as that time goes through, you um, you start to see areas of interest within the sort of overall Google product suite. Um, Mobile is very difficult for customers, or has been very difficult to customers, and so calls to me is a an easy way to go mobile without um, without really breaking the bank or actually doing a ton of development work. Um, and I see that I see that as a very interesting area of of growth. Um, and so, what I like about this is that I'm helping customers move to the next generation of computing with advertising with uh, as minimal effort as possible using the using what they have already and what they're very good at um, I think that there's a huge growth there I think there's huge growth for businesses out there and and you know if, if we if we take a step further back you know my job is to help businesses grow their business and if I can send them customers in the way that makes sense for their business and I can help make it the most efficient way and send them more customers then that's that's you know that's the positive thing about my job that's what I like to do in my session, we're going to talk a lot about making um, making mobile-friendly decisions for the customer, making sure that you're doing the right things for the customer, um, and and optimizing your efficient call center to make sure that you're turning that into a profitable place to be. And it may be a profitable place to be, but I think that we can drive more customers. I think there's a lot of distribution. I said earlier that we're we're seeing a very big resurgence in calls from search, 86 billion by 2018, and so that's a lot of calls that are 
are happening. And if you want to take those calls as a business and you want to turn those calls into sales, then there's um, a lot of different distribution paths that we can talk through. Thank you.